Okay, we just did a principal components analysis and followed by Verimax with two factors extracted. And I've gone back to my DOS box folder. I'm just going to go into PQ method. Right, we're going to go down and look for our QW2012. And I'm going to, I'm looking for a very specific file. It would be the last file probably saved. Not the statement file, might be this file. One. That's the raw file. The list file. This is the one I want. I'm going to open it. Um, with notepad. Here it is. I'm going to do a couple things right away. I'm going to make my page set up as a landscape. I'll make it much nicer later when I go to print it out. And if I look in here, I can see a lot. There's a lot of information. Here is my ones in the diagonal. They're 100s. But they're the ones, they just have it as a percentage, right? They're all, core. it's actually the correlation matrix, right? So each sort, right, is perfectly correlated with itself, principal components matrix. And I could come through here. Here's the two factors with the loadings, just like we saw in the earlier video can come through. There's a lot of different data here. We're not going to concentrate on it too much at this point. Here's the correlation between the two factors. Um, typically, Verimax with PCA, um, it minimizes the error, maximizes the loading. So you typically would have fairly low correlations. And here I have the normalized factor scores, right? And these are Z-scores. But what this really means is that these are the highest one, two, three, four, five right here. One, two, three, four. Sorry, so four. So we had four statements at point at plus five. And these would be those statements for this factor. I enjoy learning new things. I think I will be performing research in the future. I like the idea of developing research projects. I am interested in performing my own research studies. Right, so those are the five things that this factor felt the most strongly about, most like them. And then I could do the next four. These would be the plus four. So the Z scores just mean, right, their positions in the grid. So the first, in this case, the way our grid is, these are the first plus 5, then plus 4, and I can work my way in. Right. And then here are the 1, 2, 3, 4 items right, that have to do with most unlike my view. I feel uncomfortable learning to use new software. I prefer performing qualitative research studies. Da, 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 da. And here's factor 2. I feel fig comfortable figuring things out on my own. I enjoy learning new things. Right? Just, just tells us a bit about how these worked out. Some of these tables we don't really spend much time on, right? And then we'll, we'll have another video about these. And then distinguishing statements, it tells you how factor one is different from factor two. And these are usually pretty important while we're doing the analyses. <clears throat> so we could look at these and here's the consensus, but because there's two, they're not necessarily consensus. And we'll have problems a little bit. It's just software things. So, but here we can see how this turned out. I will save it as a different name. Right? <clears throat> and I can go and play around a little bit more. Right, so this is PCA Verimax with two factors. And then I'll save that so that if I go in and play around a little bit, I won't write over this file. And that's pretty much